This is my Eric 3 filter operating as normal. It's a gravity fed model and water is supplied to it centrally from the four bottom drains in the pond. It has been fabricated in clear PVC. This enables me to keep a check as to what's going on inside the filter. In this filter, water travels through horizontally from left to right. The filter has one brush box and three EMAC cartridge blocks. Each cartridge block holds 25 sheets of EMAC filter material. The perforated base under the cartridge blocks is powered by an air pump. This confuses the water flow as it passes through the filter and also supplies extra dissolved oxygen content to the water. The two inch element at the back of the filter is connected to a water pump and this sends water back to the pond. Water enters the pond about 70 centimetres below pond water level. So in order to stop back siphoning into the filter, we have a valve that can cut that off. The koi pond holds 17,500 gallons of water but the flow rate through the filter is only 2,250 gallons an hour. So it takes approximately eight hours for the entire pond water to pass through the filter. We are now about to demonstrate how this filter is clean. This is the inlet to the box that needs to be closed. This is the power switch to the pump that needs to be shut off. And this is the valve on the base that needs to stop the back side. Now the filter is totally isolated from the pond. So it can now be cleaned. And all Hillary is using is a simple garden hose. First, the drain line to the filter needs opening full. Now cleaning can commence. It's got remnants of blanket weed in the brush box, but you can see now going to waste. And it's the weight of water from behind the brush box that also makes it very easy to be cleaned.
it's almost there, just the final rinse of the entire brush box. And this is the cleaning actually done. The waste valve can now be closed. That's this blue one here. The return valve from the pump can now be opened again. And you see water will start to come in from the back here. Now we open the main valve to allow water in from the pond. When the water from the pond reaches the running level, we can turn back on the pond. debris coming in again from the pond. It's a very simple process that involves no real labour. Thanks for watching.